It's Ross from Moshville Times here. I'm with Austin Gold at Steelhouse 2023. How's it going? Really great, yeah. We just did a did a show uh, on, on the stage. It was, it was awesome. Great crowd. The weather held out for us and uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a blast. So is this your first time playing or have you been before? It's first time at Steelfest. Uh, Steelhouse, I mean. <laughs> Steelfest, yeah. Uh, first time, yeah. Really great. Heard loads of good things about it. We've always followed it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's great to be on the bill. It's brilliant. So you've been together for quite some time now. What's been the highlight? Oh, well, releasing the albums, really. Uh, initially, you know, getting them out there, getting great feedback, great reviews. Um, but we we did the Rambling Man, obviously, today, mm-hmm. of course. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we've, we've done some great, great shows, great response. But I mean, really, it's the response we get from the fans. Mm. Uh, it sounds a bit cliche, but that, that's been really rewarding. They were amazing today. The crowd literally just was so responsive. Yeah. They were when Dave sung Never End and they sung it back and they, the crowd never heard the song before and they're literally singing it straight back. And it was absolutely really it was euphoric. It was amazing. And your last album came out almost a year ago now. Are you thinking of new material yet? Yeah, so it was released in November last year, uh, Those City Lights. Great airplay, great reviews. <clears throat> uh, so we're still sort of promoting and touring that, that album. Uh, yeah, we're currently writing ready for a new album, we'll start pre-production uh, in so early autumn, looking to go back to the studio up in the Nave in Leeds where we've recorded the past three albums. The esteemed brother Andy Hawkins at the helm, uh, probably end of the year, beginning of next. Really excited, big things happening, can't say too much, but major big things about to happen, so watch this great. So what sort of themes do you tackle with your songs? It's uh, hard to pinpoint really, but it, uh, it's kind of... It's a mixture of autobiography and, and observation. So I, I write the lyrics and, uh, and then the initiation of the music, and then we all get together and we just smash it out. But um, yeah, it's, 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 I mean, the last album is like escapism, positive vibes, um, and then coupled with a bit of introspection as well. Uh, so, it, and the things when, you, when we write an album, it's over quite a period of time, and obviously, the life's journey and everything goes and it affects your writing and then write an album in like a month that would be a snapshot of life at that moment so it's, it's spread out uh, over sort of six months or so really but yeah yeah so it's it's a mixture of escapism and uh, introspection and the band takes its name from is that a drum pedal? it's a guitar pedal ah a guitar pedal I'm true to a belief <laughs> we were interviewed years ago uh, in Camden and it, in, in Camden yeah. uh, and it was a loud, loud venue, and we got uh, it was mixed messages. So, contrary to belief, it's not a drum pedal that my mother used to play drums in the 60s. She's never played drum before. Uh, it's an old rock drum pedal that um, I adore and love, and I bought it 25 years ago. Always loved the name, and then uh, when we, we got together, it was like, that's just perfect. It just it symbolised sort of the classic rock element that we do. So there wasn't any other names in the max? No. None at all. That was the one. And obviously you've recorded it in your studios. What, what's it like to record there and where else would you like to record? Well, it's uh, both myself and Dave. We've worked with you as well. Probably. I've worked my first uh, studio yeah, was experience that, yeah. was with Andy, actually, yeah, so 20-odd we, we, years ago. Yeah, we all go like way back. Um, and we used to, Andy used to be from Peter. We had a little office studio down there, which we kind of all, all worked. And then when he moved up to Leeds, we had a smaller studio. But then when he took this one on, um, it's like an old converted sort of church type gig, it's just phenomenal. So, uh, yeah, whenever we get the chance, we're straight in there. I mean, I, I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather record right now. And he's very integral as a producer to yeah. our sound. Uh, he gets the band, he gets the material. With brothers, we go right back, so we can be quite frank to just to get the best out of the song. Mm-hmm. Uh, and his production skills are phenomenal. So, uh, he's literally the, he's like the, the fifth silent member. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Really? He's literally he's like on the stage with us. He's not very played. silent though. No, he's not. <laughs> but he's with us though. And he's what we played. That's Andy. You're hearing. When you have a, such a history with someone like that, it's hard to make that up with somebody new. Yeah. Uh, so you've obviously played with some big names in the past, like King King, Gun, Chris Barris. Who else would you like to tour with? Thunder. Mm, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Right. yeah, yeah. that's such a leopard. I mean, for me, they're cool. on the bill tonight as well. I wouldn't mind touring with uh, those Dance Pros. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great band. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, so now that you've done Steel House, what's next in the bucket list? We've got a few more festivals coming down the line. Um, back to our hometown of Peterborough, we're headlining the massive beer fest. It has about three or four thousand people there. Um, oh, nice. And then we've got um, a Neem Hurley Fest, and then there's we're going to... The TMR Festival yeah. in Bradford later in the year. That should be good, so it's uh, busy. of bands on our label. So we've been busy this year, bucket list wise. It's hard, man, because we're spoiled with, with like great venues, great sound guys, great crowd, great public. Yeah. So just keep on doing what we're doing. And 2023 has been an insane year for albums. What's been your personal favourite? Uh, I particularly like the recent Free Fighters album. Yeah. I think it was a hard album for Grohl to come back with. You know, we all know. Uh, I mean, some of the production's a bit mad, but I think it's a brave album. And it just shows unification uh, as a band coming back. I think that's very bold. What about yourselves? I would absolutely second what Dave just said. Yeah, Those sea lines. That's last year, dude. That's last year. We're on the next one, though. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Keep on plugging. We're still good. Yeah. Um, so, just a fun one to end the interview. Uh, which are one festival essential? Alcohol free beer. <laughs> <laughs> For, for this festival, <laughs> <laughs> for all of them. What's that? A, a, a festival essential. Oh, uh, it's a ma- makeup bag, isn't it? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, it's Pepper? It's got to be the crew. The crew, but they've been amazing. They've been brilliant. Absolutely, absolutely been fantastic. Phenomenal on these fit ties. Yeah, they, they they've been it. fantastic. Yeah. All right, well, well, on stage, and, relaxed. Yeah. Uh, and baby wipes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Baby yeah, wipes yeah. shower. Yeah, yeah, done that this morning. <laughs> yeah. We'll be doing it in the morning as well. Jersey yeah. wash. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, guys. No worries. Thank you.